my darling subjects. Forgive me, I didn't see you there. But, Harkasan, we've never been in a cave before. Well, not me and Lucifer-san, anyway. As far as you know, Yumi. <laughs> yes, yes, some of us are unfamiliar with caves, which is why it's a good thing I'm experienced. There are rules to follow for being in a cave, Haru. Do tell. Follow me then, my friends, and I'll fill you in. See, ladies, there are three unspoken rules when traveling a cave with your friends. Rule number one, always have a light source on hand. Well, I can produce fire on command, Haru. Does that count? Indeed it does, Lucy. Now then, rule number two. Keep your voice down. You never know what could be lurking in a cave. Rule number two broken within five seconds. Well done, Yumi. Didn't know you had it in you. Hey! You try being calm when there are monsters around. Anywho, rule number three. Always stick close to your friends and never split up. Yes, everyone seems to forget that last bit. How to keep your friends close, you know? Oh, neat. Cave dwellers. So they are real. Beal owes me twenty bucks. Harakasan, I'm going to run now. Yes, yes, dear. Feel free to work on your cardio. Thank you. Chan will be right there. I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen. My friend here is a bit jumpy. Oh, it's no worries, love. We have working water down here if your friend needs to wash up. Oh, ho, ho. I like these cave dwellers, Haru. As do I, Lucy. I suppose there's another unwritten rule of caves. Cave dwellers can be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> 